Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Just barely missing on a full sweep yesterday. The two unders that we had on Markel Fultz and Kyle Lowry both go way under in their in their lines yesterday. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. Played great defenses. I, I and I, I anticipated the, the Miami Heat to absolutely blow out the, the, the magic, but that's not what happened. And either way, those two guys did end up going under it for us as they should have. And then got blown out in the rival. Pascal Siakam started the game one for eight from the field. At the end of the third quarter, I think it was like six for 25. Rough night for, for Pascal Siakam and the opposite for Steph Curry. Steph knew they had a triple-double. Started the game like eight for 12 from the field. Had Pascal Siakam, you know, it's if ands and, you know, buts and what ifs. But had, if Pascal Siakam had shot anything, like even if he had shot like 40%, we would have had like a, a better shot at it. Um, Even if he would have shot at his season average, which is 48%. Would have had a shot there. I was looking back at like his other games. That that was the most shots he attempted. Twenty seven, I believe. It was the most shots he had attempted all season in a game. He should have had a big game. The shots were there. He just wasn't knocking him down. I think in the first quarter alone, he missed like five layups. Like it was, it was bad. Like he just could not put the ball in the basket to save his life. Had he disconnected on anything, like we would have had a legit shot. Um, but Curry did end up having a way bigger night than I was anticipating. They get like twenty six, seven, and eleven. Like nearly had a triple double. So. Uh, that's like I think I've taken like 15 to 20 rivals in my life like on underdog and I think 14 of those times it's gone exactly how that went last night like the guy I chose just had a horrendous night and the guy that I uh, you know went opposed to in the rival just had an amazing night so rough night there we lose it on the rival um, the other two guys did, did what they were supposed to do just couldn't get it with Pascal Siakam so got two more plays today that I'm absolutely freaking loving there's no way that these don't hit so let's get into it Real quick, if you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy, in the link down in the description below, I have a uh, link that takes you straight to the App Store where you can download Underdog Fantasy because you're going to want to hop in on the action this year. They have added a whole bunch of new features to Underdog Fantasy this year, um, starting with the brand new insurance feature, okay? This insurance feature is a new thing that has been uh, super requested uh, for, for the fans and the customers of Underdog Fantasy. Essentially, all you do is you click insurance right here and all you, if you can see right there All you have to do is hit for these picks to win But the value does drop down. So if you turn off the insurance you do a $10 bet You obviously get $200 and if you turn on the insurance feature it drops down uh, a multiplier down to 10 But if you miss one of these picks say, you know, James Winston gets hurt or something He doesn't end up throwing two touchdown passes, but everybody hits everybody else hits like Lamar Jonathan Taylor uh, Derek Henry and Justin Jefferson all these guys hit you still hit the hit or you still hit the slip You just get it for a hundred dollars just goes down a multiplier Which is a huge feature a lot of people have been asking for so they received it Also, they have added second half lines now to games. Obviously it is on uh, There is nothing up because there's no NFL second half games, but they have added NFL second half um, So just like for the Thursday night game, I'll throw up that clip right here Thursday night They dropped all the second half lines for that Thursday night game between the Bills and the Rams They've added a bunch of new features this year. They're trying to improve to get uh, the app better for you guys um, also, if when you sign up, if you use code take my shot, you'll get a hundred dollars match uh, up to a hundred dollars match and a hundred percent deposit match uh, on your first time deposit. So if you do that, you can deposit fifty dollars to get an extra an extra fifty dollars, you know, twenty dollars to get an extra twenty dollars. Um, whole lot of stuff coming with Underdog Fantasy this year. Make sure you sign up with code take my shot. Now let's get to today's bets. All right, coming in hot with today's lock of the day. It's going to be coming from the early game, the Nuggets uh, and 76ers game. We're going to take James Harden. Over 31.5 points and assists. We're going to rock with the points and assists for Harden. If you want to lean towards just an individual line, take the assist. Um, Harden is taking on the Denver Nuggets tonight, who have who give up the third most points to point guards and the third most assists to point guards. It's a really good matchup tonight for James Harden. Game should be close and intense the entirety of way through. Nationally televised game on an afternoon here. Um, should be a really good game between these two teams. Obviously, the Nuggets really struggle with perimeter defense, likely to be matched up with, you know, if I'm thinking the Nuggets, they're probably going to put KCP on them at time, but, you know, it's probably going to be Jamal Murray at times as well. So, got a good defensive matchup, does uh, James Harden, and he's going to dish out the assists like he normally does. Just got to look for him to get buckets in this time around, and the Nuggets give up those buckets. So, look for James Harden to have a big night tonight, over 31.5 points and assists. All right, our second play of the day. We've been playing this guy like crazy, but it's just automatic money right now. As long as KP, as long as KPJ stays out of the lineup, he's going to continue to just put up monster stats. We're going to take my, my doppelganger here, Alfred Shingun again. Uh, we've been playing him a lot like crazy. I hate to do that, but it, when he's just hitting, he's hitting, man. And tonight, he's got another really good matchup versus the Detroit Pistons. You give up the eighth most points in the NBA to centers and the second most rebounds. And when you're looking at the the horrendous defense that they're played recently, in the last 10 games, I just went 10 games back, and that was all that I needed to see. Nicholas Claxton ripped him for like 41 PRA. 
Um, Joel Embiid, obviously one of the best setters in the NBA, the best setter in the NBA probably, ripped him for like 50. Um, Montrez Harrell uh, came in for a game when Embiid didn't play. Montrez Harrell got like 27 on him. Uh, Brooke Lopez, who's you know a third, fourth option in his offense, he ripped him for like 27. Big time performances from guys. Uh, I think I'm missing one. Let me see if I can uh, try. Jonas Valanciunas had 52 on him. Uh, Nikola Vucevic, he had 37 on him. So the last 10 games, I mean, these centers are just ripping apart these teams. So or ripping apart this Detroit Pistons interior defense. And Alperen Sengun has been the unit, has been an absolute unit recently with the KPG out. Offense has been running through him. He scores the ball, obviously he facilitates, and he gets a whole lot of rebounds. So look for Alperen Sengun. We're just going to take him over on the PRA 38.0. Should have a huge game tonight, should Alperen Sengun. Also, two bad teams here, so this game should stay pretty close and competitive. Uh, not a lot of defense here, so a lot of rebound chances because there will be a lot of shots taken in this game. So give me Alperen Sengun over 38.0 points and rebounds and assists. All right, so with that being said, just two picks. If there's a third one that I could offer that I would kind of lean more towards, I think Kawhi Leonard will have a big night tonight versus the Atlanta Hawks. You guys know I like to, to, to go at that perimeter or that wing defense of the Atlanta Hawks. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard have been feasting. Kawhi Leonard's lines at 26.5, I believe. He should have a big night tonight, should Kawhi. But going to stick with these two. So, Alfred Shingun over in his 38.0 points, rebounds, and assists. And James Harden over his 31.5 points and assists. Uh, there's no way these guys don't cash. These are just great matchups here. I love these two plays. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.